If you're a high-end tech doing diagnostics and you want to go beyond the P0300 series codes for misfire, you want to find out more about why the cylinder is misfiring, obviously one of the first things you're going to check is easy to get at is the connector for the GDI injectors is going to allow you to back probe and get good old-fashioned resistance. And we see here on number two injector, I've got about 2.8 ohms. Pretty normal, known good vehicle. Can't emphasize that enough. Getting used to known good vehicles before you look at problem vehicles. Obviously, it's going to change a little bit with temperature as it fluctuates between 2.8, 2.9 or so ohms. Check the spec on your vehicle and see if the injector winding is shorted or open. And that'll give you a clue of what's going on electrically with that injector. But beyond that, we can back probe it and look at voltage and also use the amp clamp. If you're an advanced tech using a scope, you can use that amp clamp to look at the current ramping of the fuel injector. Now the fuel injector's got a power feed and a control circuit. Both are being monitored and controlled by the PCM. So let's go ahead and fire this engine up and look at injector number two with some scrutiny on this PicoScope. So we've got a pretty fast time base, so we can really see the pattern stretched out. So we have to be quick and catch it. I'm going to raise the engine RPMs a bit. All right, we can slow down. I did a DSO, digital storage oscilloscope capture. And we'll scroll back through, and we see the injector voltage is 65 or more volts, pretty close to that mark. Where does it get the voltage? just like the diesel injectors do, where we make that inductive spike when we try to fire the injector, and that flyback voltage, that spike that happens when you turn an inductor off, you shut the engine off, is then absorbed into a capacitors in the PCM, and then that goes back out with the higher voltage then to actually make that high pressure, high voltage injector have the high voltage applied to it. Now, in addition to that, we're seeing the current draw of the injector. You see it start ramping up when the injector first turned on is when we started seeing the current ramp up and you see two quick little spikes. You will see those spikes change in the number of them and the distance between them as the engine speeds up. We're not just giving it one spray, we're giving it a couple of buildups until we have the longer spray as you see towards the right. So we've got a couple of blips within the injector winding pattern here and then it finally turns off and we see how that pentel bump turns on right there in the middle of the injector current buildup and then ramps back down. So get used to how these look a little different, but some similarities where you can do diagnostics as you've always done with your meter and your scope on the GDI injectors.